that let the heavens open. May we see your glory. May we see the miracles. May we have the cause to testify that we and we had great miracles in the authority name of Jesus. And all the saints will scream a big amen. Come on, lift up your voice and give God glory in this place. Bible says he is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Men can change but not call. Men can have power today and lose it tomorrow but not call. He is the same God who walked with Moses, Joshua, and the rest. He is the same God with us today and he will be the same God with you tomorrow. And that is why we can trust in him because he doesn't change. The same power that he held years ago is the same power he has now. And this morning you want to worship him and give him all the glory and this place. I want Let me take it again. Say,
sejo ye kwa mane nyomse ye ratinya kopona atinina sutufo
up your mouth and worship him. Open up your mouth and give him worship. Open up your mouth and magnify him. He alone is worthy of your praise. Let me hear worshipers open your mouth. You are worthy to be praised, Jesus. All your works are wondrous. Wonderful are your handiworks. The heavens declare the glory of the Lord. And the firmament proclaim his handiworks. Who is like unto you, Lord, in all the earth? You are lifted up high above all gods. You are high and lifted up. We give you all the glory. We give you all the praise. You are worthy, Lamb of God. You are worthy, Lord. To you who sits on the throne, to you be glory, honor, dominion, power, and strength. So this morning as a church we come to you Lord and we say Lord you alone and I am lifted up Church sing, oh Lord, oh Lord, we know you are the King, you are the King, and we live to.
too high on high on high. Jesus. 
Jesus be Jesus be lifted Everybody in this place Be lifted high say Be lifted
Masa, Masa Tahayapa, Erata Bakoshi, your Lamb of God, you are, you are the greatest. So we bow, reverence, your presence is here. Somebody speak in the language of the spirit. Arada bakosa, eko sata, alema se, arada bakopaya, esana bakora, asena namayasa, okopali, asaya bapaya, arada bakoy se. upon the throne everybody say he alone is worthy of our prayer he's the lamb of God he's the lamb of God who sits upon the throne he alone is worthy he alone is worthy of our prayer say he's the lamb of God Everybody say, God. God, 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 Sing and lift your voice. He's the Lord, the Most High, the Greatest, the Highest, the Lion of the World, the Lion of Judah, the Lamb of God. Kados, Kados, Kados. Is this the worship you can offer to God? Is this your worship to Jesus? Is this your praise and adoration? He is the Lamb of God. Say He alone. Unto he who sits upon the throne. Oh, come on, bless the name of the Lord. He alone is bless the name of the Lord. Give praise and adoration unto the Lamb who's bless the name of the Lord. All praise, all glory, all adoration to he who sits upon the throne. 
to he who has made you see the month of April, to he who has made you see the second quarter of 2024. Come on, give God a praise. Give God adoration in your own words, in your own language, in English, in Chi, in Ka, in Ewe, in your in the language of the spirit. Come on, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Bless the name of the Lord. And throne him as king. And throne him as Lord. And throne him as the ruler of your life. Abba Father, we love you. Abba Father, we give you praise. We give you all the glory that our eyes have seen the month of April. If I were you, I would give God all adoration, all praise. Celebrate, 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 celebrate. This month is the month of advancement. I declare in the name of Jesus, you are moving yourself to the next level. You are taking yourself to the next level. You and your family, you are advancing. You and your business, you are advancing. You and your household, you are moving to the next level. Come on, say advancement. Oh my God. you doubted whether God is in his house just look at the first quarter of the year and how we have seen the presence of the Lord from January until the end of March Royal House Chapel don't get familiar with the presence of God don't get familiar don't assume you see this on a weekly basis so it has become normal to you when you encounter the presence of God you must know how to plug in you must know how to fix yourself and Jacob said the Lord was here and I did not know it how how can you enter a presence like this and not recognize that God is here I said God has been with us throughout the first quarter of the year Sunday after Sunday from week of the altar Easter convention Friday services group meetings God has been with us I'm telling you not every church has the presence that we have just had this morning today is not a convention today is not a revival and yet see the atmosphere in the place it's a privilege for you to be here this morning On Friday, we baptized 19 people unto the Lord, making a total of 144 for this year alone. This year alone, and we are only in April. I'm telling you, it is not a coincidence. It is not, don't take it for granted. The Lord is here, Jehovah Shammah. We are touching our generation, yes. led by our father, the Apostle General, yes. with the sons and daughters of the Most High together we are powering the vision together we are expanding the kingdom of god yes. come on if i were you i would join my voice and give the lord praise come on come on come on it's not normal it's not normal if you don't hear anything today this is what i want you to take away that it is not ordinary we are experiencing firsthand the move of God in our presence. Watch it. First time. And this morning, the song you want to use to bless the Lord. Dynamic Father. Come on, lift your hands wherever you are. Morning. When, when you look at how God has kept you from 31st December and now you have entered April, you know 
it's not by might, it's not by power, it's not by your intellect, it's not by your back palace. God has been good to you.
we see and those that we do not see for all that you do for us those we recognize and those we don't recognize for all that you do for us those we place premium on and those that we don't Lord take their praise take all the glory take all the adoration Lord who are we and what is our house and where will we have been but for your mercy and your mercies are new every morning every day when we wake up there is a new grace a renewed mercy a renewed anointing to face the day and in the new month of April Lord we are gathered one more time at the foot of your cross and we offer all praise we offer all worship we offer all adoration we say Lord take preeminence take all the glory take all the glory Lord accept our worship accept our worship accept our worship Father we don't ask for much all we ask is Lord continually be the king in our lives continually be the captain of our ships Lord we don't know what the month of April has in store for us but we know that all things will work together for our good because we love you because we love you we love you we love you we love you go ahead go ahead go ahead of us we give you all the praise we give you all the glory we thank you in the name of Jesus that April will be better than March we thank you that the second quarter will be better than the first we thank you that every time we gather you will be in our presence together as a church and as a family this is our heart desire have your way in this service this morning father as the apostle general and mama Rita wrap up royal ladies camp in the uk lord be with them this morning in their service let there be anointing overflow let there be presence let there be signs and wonders let them come back with testimonies let them come back with bags full of miracles empower the churches on this apostolic assignment in the mighty name of jesus and the church will put their hands together and with expectation and excitement shout on top of your voice oh that was not on top of your voice come on i said give the lord a praise I wanted to go and look for seven people and give them a hug and tell them welcome to a new month. Some people are sitting down and I'm very shocked. You are being selfish with their prophecy. Go and prophesy to somebody and tell them welcome to your month of advancement. Welcome to your month of advancement. for Jesus April is off to a flyer after the 
Easter celebrations, this week has been a very busy week here at the Oil Dome Church. On Monday, we had a powerful Easter Monday celebration with the Royal Ladies Traditional Derba. Where the Fanti tribe has bragging rights for the next five years. Are the Fantis in the house? Uh huh. I wanted to know it's because I was part of you, that's why you won't. So you have to come and sow a seed. <laughs> come on, shall we acknowledge all the tribes who put on a wonderful celebration? The heiress who, who came first runner up by one mark one mark one mark oh come on shall we acknowledge the heiress and then uh, the northness who came second runner up oh come on shall we acknowledge and all the tribes the guns the asantes the adanges the uh, the nigerians the europeans oh come on come on come on let's appreciate it Collins, you will not talk for this one you will not talk with us. I know what you are come to say. So I, I forbid you from talking from this one. Amen. Go ahead. When I thought a second, I said, I'm sorry. I. Yes, one mark. Yes, I won't show. Yeri is saying, I'm going to ask them, as a free Yeri BBA. Monday, Pepe pay is easy. Pa, when I was the dog, when I was the now, when I will need a man's an atoll phone, a fanta fanta phone, one will need a man can see each other a fanta phone, a one and a capital and a war, and I was a banker. Ha, it's already with a BBI is the first. Oh, one and a war far, bro, for no far. God is back. Man, as in a walk room in a fanta man, it's one easy first. Now, every BBI and a wooden and a coupon to Jumezi or Cordona, a dim ha, I do ye pa, BBI, so any, yet the one I say, crown four hours of four. Uh, no, for fun, uh, Reverend, uh, uh, Reverend Jake, ne, 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 Released her first ever book titled In the Shadow of Shaddai. This was launched by the Apostle General himself. I wish you can put the artwork on the screen. Um, and for those of you who were not here on Wednesday at the King's Club meeting, anybody who wants to um, get a copy of the book, it will be on the information desk right after the service. It's a very powerful book in the shadow of Shaddai. She'll be here after the service if you want to grab a copy for her to autograph it for you and sign it for you it will really really be a blessing unto you very very powerful book i've started uh, glancing through it and it's amazing some powerful powerful stories in the shadow of shaddai yeah penny oh yeah administration now penny no down on I could point in himself as a was a strong woman. Be a when the shadow of Shaddai portrait him. A be an election online. Eco Amazon, I've been a book in the Beato. No one had a Baba Royal House. Oh, how so? Young to book in a young boy, I mean, a Jumana. On him, Zelza, Manako, and no uncle, and baby, be a right book in the Bia, a baby or online. Then on Friday, we baptized 19 new people and 19 souls into the body of Christ Jesus. It's been a very, very busy week. Yeah. Very busy week. Today, we are continuing, continuing unabated. We have one of the favorite sons of the Apostle General in the house who will be blessing us this morning. Amen. And the Apostle General, I'm not going to be busy. 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 I'm not going to be 19 people yeah 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 baptize one one as your shen and coupon sir yes one man sorry in church and as about can you coupon no dom kuno
Apostle John Sego is here with some visitors from Switzerland and I'm sure he will be introducing them very briefly but I want you to know that he carries the anointing of his father the Apostle General he is doing amazing works in Switzerland uh, I haven't been to his church but I've seen it from far Apostle John, you promised me about 10 years ago. Uh, I'm just reminding you. I'm just reminding you. <laughs> Apostle John Sego, is say a boy there above Switzerland. I mean, a Reverend Papa there above Switzerland. 10 years old, you know. Aha, Port OK. He said you'll be joining me when I'm yeah. coming to Switzerland. Ah, uh, on to Fantine. <laughs> on to Fantine. OK, so uh, as, as he said, uh, we'll be joining you in Switzerland. On your whole bear, I hope now our bear, on our bear, you want to share. Now, what about better than a coupon? As a man, you mean I was in Oum on an EP or the brain. You are welcome to Royal House Chapel, the headquarters at the Oil Dome where God resides. We believe that on Sunday mornings, God goes to visit other places and then He comes back to His abode here at this altar. You are in for a powerful service, you are in for a treat. Don't look at your clock, don't look at your watch, don't look at your time because God is about to visit you at the point of your need. God bless you for coming. If you are watching us on TV, Powerline TV, on YouTube, on Facebook, Sam Crunchy Ankara, uh, you are listening to us live on radio, Adum FM, Della Radio, and um, um, Empire FM. I want you to know that it's not by mistake that you are here. God orchestrated for you to be here and the word that is coming forth is about to transform your life. Stay tuned. This is Royal House Chapel where we are touching our generation with the power of God. God bless you. Enjoy your service. Vessels of worship. Glory to Jesus. Wherever you are, you want to shout glory to Jesus. Oh, I can't hear believers in the house. Come on, shout glory to Jesus. Indeed, the Lord has been good unto us. In Royal House, our mission statement is this, that we touch our generation with the power of God. And the Bible says that creation awaits the manifestation of the sons of God. And so this morning, we just want to make a declaration that we are partnering with the Holy Ghost to change our world, to move our world, to make a difference in our generation. It's a very simple song you can sing along with us. Fire in my bones 
General has declared Royal House Chapel our mission touching our generation with the power of God and many times we have believed the many things that we see here in relation to scholarships and aged ministry and so on and so forth but I just want to draw your attention to another area that the Apostle General is touching our generation with the power of God. Come with me. Royal House Chapel. Royal House Chapel. Hallelujah. So Apostle General is by this ministry raising sons and daughters for this nation, Ghana, and for the kingdom. Today, I just happened to coincide um, with this event. Today is 23 years since I got married. 7th April 2001. And I married one of the daughters raised by the Apostle General in this house. My wife got converted in this house and was raised as a Christian in this house. And I met her and God has been good to us these 23 years. Someone said that if you marry a good woman, you are complete. If you marry a bad one, you are finished. I, by the grace of God, married one raised by the Apostle General, and I give glory to God for the work that he does in this house, touching our generation with the power of God. So we gather every Sunday, and various offerings are taken. Today we are going to take our access offering. I want you to remember this. In your marriage, since it's my uh, 23rd anniversary, I just want to say a, a few things. In your marriage, focus on the positive and thank God for it every day. It's like this. As a small boy, I went to visit my grandma in the village. And she's starting a fire. And she brings a piece of live fire from somebody else's fire and puts it in the pot of charcoal which has no fire and he says boy fan it and i keep fanning and fanning and fanning and the whole pot of black charcoal becomes live fire so you also even as the apostle has raised a daughter for you or a son for that matter for your husband your duty in touching the generation is to fund that fire focus on the positive i'm not saying ignore the negatives but focus on the positive fun it fun it fun it fun it fun it and all the issues that you are encountering i tell you i assure you some way somehow the positives will affect the negative and your marriage 
will catch fire and it will burn. It will be joyous. Wherever my wife is not here today, but today I want to say that the God of this altar, Apostle General's God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, whom Apostle General serves, is the God we have followed. And there are many stories to share about what God has done for us in this. Quick one, Apostle um, Papa, if I have a moment. One day, I saved some money that I was going to buy a car. I may have shared this story in other forms. And I came to the week of the altar. Whilst we were praying, the, Apostle, the Lord said, go and sow that seed. This was not 100 CDs, 200 CDs, 1,000 CDs. It was going, I was going to buy a car. And I, was, I struggled with the instruction from the altar. It didn't come from the altar, but the Spirit of God spoke to me whilst I was in the service. Sow that seed. I struggled with it, struggled with it. But eventually, I yielded and said, I wrote the check to the last Peswa and I brought it to the altar and I gave it to God. My admonition to you, as after that, that seed that I sowed, I work in this industry, donor funded um, programs. And one donor will fund five years, maybe two years, maybe seven years. When the project is over, everybody is laid off. But I say to the glory of God, ever since that time, I have never been out of employment, ever. There are occasions that I have two, three projects running. The projects are overlapping. I haven't closed the project and someone is knocking on my door. Hey, we are waiting for you. Come. When you finish this project, come. I assure you that today, if you go into your wallet, into your bag, into wherever you are keeping your money, take a seed of thanksgiving for what God has done for you. Appreciate him for the wife he has given you, for the husband he has given you, and say that, Lord, I am grateful for what you have done in my life. And I bring this seed to support the work the Apostle General is doing in this house, touching our generation with the power of God. I support it so that other people's generation will be touched. Aged will be taken care of. School fees will be paid. Young people will be raised. Your son will be affected some way, somehow, through the ministry of the Apostle General. Lift up your sacrifice as we raise um, a prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for today. We thank you for what you have done in our lives and the many promises that you have for us in the future. As we sow our seeds, we ask in the name of Jesus that the blessing that is associated with this giving will pursue us, overtake us. In the name of Jesus, we thank you and we bless you. Amen. Um, this, the next choir to mount the stage is Pillars of Praise. As we put our hands together, they are mounting the stage. Thank you very much. traditions and our cultures which are born from our dressing which were explicitly demonstrated here today in modesty Our tradition and our culture is demonstrated in our dance, in our music, in our food, 
which we are going to demonstrate and which we are demonstrating this afternoon and then we demonstrate our culture also in a way that it does not cause affront or confusion or indict on the Christian values which the Bible teaches very very well your hands together for Jesus. Oh, you can do better than what you are doing. We are clapping unto the Lord, the only Savior of our life. Hallelujah.
into your presence, into his presence, singing hallelujah. We come with joy, lifting our praises, we sing in hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. We come with joy, singing. Would you buy a 
Wawa. On the Babian to Mithiasia. And the Trinitario Potenti. Media Miss Rod of Jesus. And the Sanya or Timimono. Or so say, Oh, what you are saying. It is a radical one. Would you have a so and a jubomba? And if I buy it to a young lady. Begin to pray. If you can speak 
speak in tongues. Speak in tongues. Let us pray. Let us pray. Something is happening. Something is happening. You lift up your voice. You know your last chapter. You lift up your voice. Rakataria Pande, Malabakataria, Mande Rebokotori, Maria Pande, Rakaturia Pande, Rakataria Pande, Rakuria Pande, Rakaturia, Malabakatoria, Rakataria Pande, Rakarua Pande, Rakaturia Pande, Rakataria Pande, this revival, this revival, lift up your in Jesus mighty name we have worship can we celebrate the king of glory yes Oh, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Let's celebrate the Lord of love. Yes. The God of victory. Yes. Celebrate him. Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. Amen. Oh, yes. So, Christianism, I have been paid. And what they are, they are fast. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Wow. Somebody say wow. Wow. What a privilege and honor to be with you again today. We are so grateful to be able to stand on this gracious altar, this exalted altar of our Father, Apostle General and our mother, Mama Rita, can we celebrate them? Yes. I couldn't consider me a mama and the massa who will be. Oh, yeah, Papa, I am Mamma, what for you, Muchido? You did enough faster than an uncle. You know, the last song that was sung before I came was the song that those days when most of us came into Royal House Chapel. That was the song that launched the power of God, the power in his presence. Come on that now. was the song that the whole Ghana yes. was listening to. And he was shaking the nation. Yes. So when they sang that song, they throw me back Come on 1990 something. Somebody say amen. Amen. So I don't know about you, but I'm in the mood of revival this morning. Yes. Somebody will be revived this morning. Yes. And no matter what two year old chat, Tony and no matter 1996, and made that down now. I'm Royal House, and no, and no matter what two, what in a couple now was in a in Kenya somber. I'm in the in Kenya some abomumu. I am so excited to be here again. I have my team with me all the way from Switzerland. Please, my Swiss team, can you stand up? Let them recognize you. Please celebrate them. Hallelujah. God bless you, Pastor Joel, Pastor, one of our branches in Switzerland in a city called Basel. Celebrate her and make her welcome. Hallelujah. This morning, I have a message for us, and I want to honor Reverend Papa, all the gallant men and women of God the leaders, the gurus, the shakers, and the movers of, uh, of, the, of the church, Royal House Chapel. Please, let's celebrate them one more time. In the business, I could point out some of the bananas and some of the band. There's a sedek, I said, my reverend papa, I saw him penny for one hour. That's on your own. I could point show you, pa. Let's go straight into the word of God. My title of my message this morning is staying victorious somebody says staying victorious it is important that we know as the children of god that what easter sunday did for us did not end in easter sunday I didn't want that. My Easter Sunday, my Easter Sunday, man, on Christmas Eve, we stay no more at Tiado. 
the resurrection of Christ brought us victory. The resurrection of Christ declared that we have overcome death. Yes. The resurrection of Christ declared that our story will not end up in grave. Come on. So in other words, the resurrection of Christ that we all just celebrate passionately last Sunday declare that we are more than conquerors. Yes. Therefore, if we are more than conquerors, we are not fighting from victory. Uh, sorry, we are fighting from victory, not for victory. Can I say it again? Yes, sir. We are fighting from victory. We are in the victory side. We are in the winning side. So we are fighting from victory, not for victory. Because we have already won the battle. Therefore, I don't know what is challenging you today. I don't know what you are facing today. I don't know the battle you are in today. I don't know who wants to bring you down today. I came to announce to them, Jesus. you have already won the battle. You are not fighting for victory. You are fighting from victory. You have already won the battle before the battle began. So I want you to know anytime you come to Royal House Chapel, anytime you step your feet in this auditorium, you have entered arena of victory. Your problem is settled forever and ever. There is no demon that can be able to pull you back because you are fighting from victory. It's me penalty as the MBB about to win the Royal House. So I come to prophesy to somebody today. Professor. That business that is a challenge right now, I want you to hear this prophecy from the servant of God. It is only temporary because the victory has been won already in the heavens. It's only a matter of time. It shall manifest. That position that is challenging you at work, that political party that is challenging you, that marriage that is challenging you, I want you to know you have already won the victory before the battle began. It's a matter of time. Your victories are manifest. Dama kwenye na lukomun, dama amembu nyama na lukomun. Oide tasa de ezi kunim deda. Amrika krebi inkunimizi obopo e na kupwa yewe obopo e ni penu nado. After this service today, I declare that this week shall be manifestation of your victory. This week shall be manifestation of your victory. You will see the manifestation of your victory this week. Somebody say, I am ready. People of God, we do not serve a dead God. Our God is alive. Our God is living. Our God cannot fail. Our God cannot disappoint. You are serving a God that is more than conquerors. If God be for us, who can be against us? Don't you ever say who, 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 who? No, 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 no,
No demonic forces can be against Adamo you. Adamo no conspiracy can be against you. No gossip can be against you. No attack can come against you. If God be for you, no witches and wizards in your village can be against you. Somebody say, I hear you. I hear you. I came to tell somebody that the Bible says in Romans 8:31. Romans 831. What then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be? Against us. Romans 8:31. Let's say, "But as in the other case, for the man say, 'Who send a coupon? Why are far? Why are no bottom acquainted?'" Somebody say, "If God is for us, if God is for us, who can be against us? Who can be against if us? If the altar of Apostle General is for us, who can be against us?" Send a coupon, a coupon, Apostle General, not for you, Muti. Okay, I'm one. If as in no bottom, you need a coupon. If the altar of Royal Heart Chapel is backing us up. Who can be against us? You are fighting from victory, not for victory. And it's important that you have that revelation. Because when you have that revelation, you will cease to be afraid of the devil. You will cease to be afraid of the agent of the devil. You will cease to be afraid of any opposition because they are all shadows. So it's the amazing yes, sir. In sure the money who home, in sure a bedom, in sure people are back with every day when you know where you soon soon. Don't you ever say stop being afraid of shadows. Monstro a soon soon. Stop being afraid of shadows because you have already won the victory. The Lord is on your side. Nyan kupon kaho, monstro bibiara, menye hubiara. This morning I'm gonna give you four points. In the mama, I tell you to a young man. That will help you to stay victorious. Four points that will help you to stay victorious. Don't forget, we didn't come to tell you that you are now going to be victorious. We come to announce to you that you are already victorious. Because if any man is in Christ, he's a new creature. All things are passed away and all things have become new. You are a new creature and you are fighting from victory. I don't say that. Obi Biara, Obi Benjamin, Munu, why are boys of fufu? In a matter that they come out, Obi Biara, I have fufu. I don't say that. In the day, you are going to win him. Zim, now you are going to come and win Somebody say, I'm fighting from victory. Me kung won win him. Zim. Revelation twelve eleven says. Revelation twelve eleven. Mokeni. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they did not love their lives to the death. Revelation, what can I know? What's it doing? Queen him on a much and a what dance is he? Was the baby I don't queen him now and so were woman poop. They overcame, overcame, overcame him by the blood of the lamb. The blood of the lamb is not the one you are about to share. The blood of the lamb have already been shared on your behalf. So you are an overcomer. Beat your chest, say, I'm an overcomer. Therefore, if you're going to be an overcomer, you need to know that in the book of 2 Kings, 2 Kings chapter 7, starting from verse 1 and 2. 2 Kings 7, 1 and 2, no, Pedro Chede, and I bet you Queen Mizini, or there Shadamazi in so. The Bible says that then Elisha said, Hear the word of the Lord. Thou sayest the Lord. Tomorrow, somebody said tomorrow. tomorrow. About this time, a search of fine flour shall be sold for a shekel, and two search of barley for a shekel at the gate of Samaria. 
Zakin Elijah Ke Osinde say Ochina Sesemrin Azibiala oh yeah a summer was a monomon Wabaton Dama and a simple. Verse 2 says, So an officer of whose hands the king leaned answered the man of God and said, Look, if the Lord will make windows in heaven, could these things be? And he said, In fact, you shall see it with your eyes, but you shall not eat of it. Na penibi on your hand and I'm gonna care. Send a couple of boys, some fruit poff you sura, or bad than the manzi abem, nelasha care, even robo who nemo in zibida. Point number one if you must stay victorious, you must think victorious. Write it down. If you must stay victorious, you must think victorious. Mose Kenny said, Ibo to my Kunimiza, or they drink Kunimizi. You cannot always be saying, Oh, Ghana is finished. My family is finished. Things are going down. I will never make it. Devil is a liar. As a man thinketh, as a man speaketh in his heart, in his mouth, so is he. May God deliver you from thinking negative this morning. Man, dream a dream, born in Bobo Broke, and a gun as I as the Epa, Bibi Ayabasa, no more Bible on the Senate, Mani Pelican, the man in Impan Otte. Oh, I prophesy, may God deliver us from thinking negative this morning. Every negativity is aborted in the name of Jesus. Somebody say, I receive it. In the Annapen, a couple of years, see a Bobo in a bun, a gin, a The Bible says. The prophet came to town and he prophesied in the midst of famine. He prophesied that under 24 hours, there's going to be a performance. Under 24 hours, the show we began. Under 24 hours, impossibility will become possible. Under 24 hours, every closed door will be open. Can I prophesy to somebody? By the time you are stepping into your office on Monday, you didn't hear what I say. By the time you are going for that contract on Monday, by the time you are moving into your ministry on Tuesday, by the time you are stepping into your family on Monday, the Lord said, I shall announce to you, this is about to change. Impossibility specialist. So anytime I call, you answer. Any door I knock, you're open. Incredible God. Incredible God. Incredible God. Extraordinary strategies. Impossibilities. Listen, 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 listen. If you are not expecting any goodies in 2024, sit on your seat. I came to prophesy to somebody that said, I am tired and sick of tired of my position now. I need something new. I need a breakthrough. I need an open door. I need a favor. If you are the one, jump on your feet. Say, I receive it.
Holy Spirit of God. There is somebody here. You were betting for a contract in 2023. She did not work out. The Lord said, I should tell you, 2024, this week and beyond, Jesus. get ready for double for your trouble. I received double. And come so on, Obi wo de ma mo no ma 2023. Ise na ku powder bo bo ekwa mo. In that 2024, from in that way, ati bi ala she ni mo. Oba ba dum pe bi pe bi. Your business is about to receive a turn around. I receive it. This year is not permitted to be over Jesus. until you come to the altar of testimony. Jesus. Because 24 hours miracle is coming upon your life. I receive Someone it. Say, I receive it. I receive it. There may a fear here with me. I'm pouring for the beer. There may a fear. As the beer is ashen, you may fear to turn me down. But I'm bad. There may a fear. But but. Be seated. Let me talk to you. For just no form. Am I blessing somebody this morning? Yes. If you want to stay victorious, think victorious. You cannot think like a loser. You cannot think like a victim. And you expect to be victorious. I release you this morning from victim mentality. I release you this morning for poverty mentality. I receive, I release it. You this morning from lack mentality. I receive, receive it. a victory mentality. I receive it. Receive it. With God, all things are possible. You need to change the way you think. You need to change the way you think. In all my ministry in Switzerland, Switzerland, one of the frequent asked questions from people are the following. They always ask me this question again and again and again. And the question is, how do you manage to influence the Europeans that so many of them are following your ministry in Switzerland? And I'm about to give you the secret. Are you ready? Well, Switzerland, and I mean, you know, I mean, you know, oh, yeah, I'll be a bear, I'll be some cope, I'll be some open, then Emma, Europeans, yeah, was one world world, what come as in, 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 what's in a coupon, I'd you say, no, was witchy. When I went to Switzerland, Switzerland, the people there, I'm talking about the Africans there. They be before Switzerland, you know. The Africans pastors, the Africans leaders that I met in Switzerland. I did a visibility studies. And I realized that number one, majority of them, and this is not looking down on my brothers and sisters in diaspora, but the truth was, majority of them have begging mentality. Begging mentality. What is begging mentality? They are always looking at the people of white skin as the people that can help them. They never believe that they themselves brought something to the continent that they can give to the white mentality. But when John Sego but when John Sego arrived, Jesus. I see myself as a deliverer of Europe. Yes. I see myself as a person sent from heaven. Yes. I see myself as a destiny helper. Yes. I came to tell somebody, get ready. Your story is about to change. I receive it. One baby, oh man, man, oh one but you may mean what fit there, bro. You be no bobon. No more Reverend Apostle John say go do one. Or that's the name coupon a was man. Oh no, but to my poor bro, friend. Oh no, but to my young bro do. Did I arrive in Europe like our African presidents? No, I did not take any African money to Europe. I control the money from above Jesus I command the money from heaven I didn't need to take money from Africa to go to Europe to make an impact because I am not from Africa I am from heaven 
Jesus. Oh, you didn't hear what I'm saying. I am a kingdom citizen. Yes. Therefore, anything that I want yes. comes from above. Yes. I came to prophesy. Jesus. Your thinking is about to change. I receive Let your it. Your neighbor say, I am not an African. I am not I'm walking African. in power. Yes. I'm walking in miracles. I live a life of favor. Because I know who you are. I'm walking in power. Walking in miracles. I live a life of favor. Because I know who I am. Tell them what I say. You were the one abusing me that I don't hear Fanti. I came, now I have the microphone. Tell them what I said. Uncle Du, Switzerland in the team. See, also men can say, I'm not a case of mirrors. Uncle Du, Switzerland, K. And I'm more tired than you. I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go the book of Philippians chapter 2 verse 5 said, let this mind be in you which was in Africa. No. Christ Jesus. Which was in Europe. Christ Jesus. Which was in United States of America. Christ Jesus. Which was where in Christ, Christ Jesus. Jesus. Let your thinking not be the thinking of this world. Let your thinking be from above. Yes. Because anything that comes from above is above all. My word in the end, I want to see an office so soon. Every day, I don't want so soon. I'm praising in Ando. So, how did John Sego succeed there? Apart from connecting to the oil dome, connecting to Apostle General, connecting to Mama Rita, connecting to Royal House Chapel. How did John Sego succeed? Abandon Abandon the Reverend John Sego, Apostle. Oti Ken, ye papa no go satene ti nemo, azibi so shaho. Number one, I change the way I think. Mozi Ken, osu sa asena, osu fa odin. I decided I will not think like other Africans that I met in Europe. Why are you not doing the only today before? What were Europe, ma'am? Because other Africans I met in Europe have a begging mentality, have a poverty mentality, have a limitation mentality. Why are you not doing the only today before? What are you not doing? What do you want to do? Because they believe that they cannot do some things because they didn't have paper. They believe they cannot do some things because they are not citizens. They believe they cannot do some things because they don't have money. But that is not the story of John Sego. John Sego believed that with God, with all God, all with this, God, all, this, all things are possible. Baby, now on one day, on the one in cat, and one to me, yebi, one few crown, one to me, yebi, bia. Nemo, Apostle John Sego, the author said, "Now, come on, my friend, now come on, can I want about to my yebi, yebi, ara?" Because I am thinking from victory and not for victory mentality. God has blown our mind in Europe. Every day, all the dream fee, in Queen Zim. God has shown us that he's not a respecter of color, he's not a respecter of continent, he's not a respecter of gender. Yes. It doesn't matter where you come from. If you think like God, you will perform like God. Yes. Hey, if you think like God, you will do like God. Yes. If you think like God, you will take territory like God. Come on I came to tell somebody, Jesus. Your Africa. Africanism must die. Your Africanism must die. It Name must die. Jesus. That is your problem. Your Africanism is your problem. How will you go to Europe? All you are gathering is the people from your culture. Do you know that there are some people in Switzerland? Now listen. Switzerland, they only speak French. German. 
an Italian. But you will see Ghanaian pastor in Switzerland speaking tree to his congregation. And I say, God have mercy. How can you able to win the Swiss people with tree? Not even English. He preaches in tree. He gathers the people in tree. So after every service, all the Ghanaians that come to church, when the service is closed, they start fighting outside. Obendene ekwa manonia e ma wadwen oyo kakraba na e wadwen popoboa wo homonom te wona wo wa manoni bebre na wo ya sofon woni wadwen de wo ko wonim na watre wa ahyen wo members na wo bo hon twi kese ya afante kese ya na woni wo ka poto kese mpo won poto bi wo ho the most difficult people to pastor is the people of your tribe is the people in your family is the people closer to you these are the most difficult people the spirit of familiarity is very common among the people of your family among the people of your tribe among the people that are very close to you watch the ministry of jesus you will see that as long as jesus was with the disciples they could not do any mega things until he has to be taken away from them because when he was with them there was what we call spirit of familiarity i came to announce to somebody jesus. anywhere you go don't concentrate and try to reach your people try to reach the people of the place yes. because when you reach them your people will see as a testimony that god is with you come on baby be able to be a strawata bell mina kwenim e kwenim a unkwa funu bongo de ampanya kupon ka onho reverend papa they used to call me a racist in Switzerland. Can you imagine? The black people used to call me racist. What is the meaning of racist? The meaning of racist is that you reject other colors. Meanwhile, I have an African color and they are calling me racist. Why? Because we pattern our ministry in a way that it can minister to the Europeans and not necessarily ministering to the Africans. And that is why we are succeeding today. Don't you ever say think victory? Think victory. When we arrive, apart from thinking victory, there are practical things that we needed to do and i am saying it because i know that royal chapel is an international church so we have branches all over the world and so somebody that care to listen if you can adapt this formula today it will help you even when you are planting in ghana when you are planting churches in africa if you adapt this pattern today it will help you say the man listen i can speak like this because i am a son of the house and my desire is that the same oil the same anointing the same favor that is upon my life will be upon all my brothers and sisters in the name of Wherever jesus you are hearing the sound of my voice that the same anointing will rest upon you i if receive you are it. watching us on tv receive the same receive the same anointing i receive if you are it. watching us from radio or listening to us from radio receive the same anointing i receive it. Number two thing that helped me to succeed. Not today, be. They were sitting from the machine. 
How many of you remember typewriting machine? They were transiting from kata, 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 kata to using computer. And I said to myself, this computer, I must learn it. As of the time, my African fellow brothers and sisters is calling computer the newest demon, the newest antichrist. I was busy studying how to use computer. Oh, clap your hand if you want to clap for Jesus. What is the essence of studying computer earlier? The essence of that is that I graduated to become a computer system engineer. I graduated to start and the first computer office in the city where I live. So when we started our church, majority of my convert was Swiss people that I converted from my computer company. Which some of them are still in our churches today. Then number three, what helped me to succeed in Switzerland is that I got involved in their organization mindset. Organization mindset. And organization mindset include keeping time. When you said you are coming at nine o'clock, you must be there at nine o'clock, not 10 o'clock, not around nine. When you say nine, you are there at nine. Organization. What is organization? You are begin to think about how to put structure in what I'm doing. So that when people come, they will experience the spirit of excellency in what we are doing. Organization. What is organization? I begin to think about employing a secretary, employing an office personnel, so that they make sure that things are working. When I was not earning enough money, I was paying my PA, my secretary, that are Swiss to organize things so that we can cave part for where we are going. Then number four, I began to bring the Swiss people into my leadership. I began to bring them into my leadership. And you know what that means. Bringing them into my leadership means they are now in charge of my bookkeeping. They are now in charge of my accounting. They are now in charge of all the mega decisions that we have to make. The law in the land, they are in charge. So I began to bring them into the leadership. So they began to bring the mind of the nation and the mind of the continent to cave the way for where we are going. You can start a church and you have the mind to win. You have the mind to go somewhere. You have the mind to transform a nation and you are not transparent. Something is wrong with you because whatever that is in darkness, we end up in darkness. Am I helping somebody this morning? Yes. If you gonna win in life, you have to Christ be also the mind that is in you. Number two, if you gonna stay victorious, live in victory, you must get your eyes off the circumstances. So follow the story that we read in 2 Kings chapter 7. The armor bearer of the king 
was not thinking victorious. Are you with me? He was not thinking victorious. Because when the prophet came to prophesy that by this time tomorrow, that every famine is going to cease, because he was not thinking victorious, he began to doubt. He began to question. He began to challenge the word of God. Number two, he began to look around in the circumstances because he saw famine everywhere. He saw lack everywhere. He saw limitation everywhere. And he was focusing on the circumstances but a victorious thinking person does not focus on the circumstances you focus on the god that have called you because he that have called you yes. is faithful is faithful and yes. just to finish what he has started so if you must be a champion if you must be a winner if you must stay victorious you must take away your eyes from the circumstances because as far as Ghana is concerned you will have everyday problems because Jesus says, I have told you in this world, there shall be trouble. But take heart. I have, I have overcome the world. Come on. If the Bible is true, and which I believe the Bible is true. Things are not getting better in the world. Things are getting worse. So if the circumstances is your measure of success, is your measure of victory, you will never make it. You must change the way you think and say even though things are not looking good right yes. now, I serve a God that can make all things Work together for, for good. those that love him. One hour there as I didn't have the born no real way, I didn't have the born no real way. It won't mean we say it's when you're about to Nanko Ponda, it won't then Nanko Pompe and Otumi Bibiara. When God said that all things work for good, Nanko Poka de Bibia, the born for those that love the Lord. One hour done Nanko Pon. Do you know what he means? He means the bad, the ugly. The devastating situation, mm. the, the poverty situation. When God is ready to bless you, He will use that situation to bless you. Yes. Reverend Atagri, our church in Switzerland exploded during coronavirus. During coronavirus, we have more members than ever. That is why after coronavirus, the first outing we did was a stadium event. You don't do a stadium event if you don't know that people will come. Because during coronavirus, we were busy online preaching the gospel. Don't forget, I told you, God trained me with computer. So I was good with IT. I was good with media. I was good with handling computer. So when coronavirus came, I pitched my tent on internet and I began to evangelize Europe. Come when on. people were sleeping, I was affecting Europe. Come when on. coronavirus was over, yes. I launched a stadium event that put us in history in Switzerland. Nobody, no single church have ever organized a stadium event single-handedly. It's because all things work for good. Come on! 
Men I cope for two million, men I cope for one million. If we are coronavirus, look at that. Obi be active here. Now make the men and I cope on. Oh yes, Switzerland. Oh my yes, of Upeni. Now sorry, I try to say Ira. Warrior coronavirus pair crusade away first when was stadium. Think about it. When many churches was closing up, when many churches was begging for survival, we were launching a mega conference of half a million US dollar after Corona. Asafu bebe, walu asafu bebe, walu show. Member sa kefiye na na kupon epe ya nsa mawi na five hundred thousand dollars. You know what's the stadium program? May God cause you to take away your eye from the circumstances. I receive I it. I don't know the challenge in your family today. Jesus. I don't know the problem in your company today. But Jesus. I came to tell you that that problem is a setup for your lifting up. Yes. Clap your hand and say, I receive it. I receive we it. We shall overcome. Oh. We shall that Peter when Jesus called him to walk on the water as long as he was not looking at the circumstances he was able to do something that nobody have ever done none of the disciples have ever done he walked on water until he start looking at the circumstances I prophesy over you today Jesus. after today you will take away your eyes from the circumstances yes. take away your eyes from yes. the economy of Ghana take yes. away your eyes from your family problem yes. take away your eyes from that sickness in your yes. family because you are about to do something that nobody has ever done yes Let's clap for Jesus. Go ahead and celebrate Jesus. Oh, as you are clapping. You are taking away your eyes from the circumstances. Yes. You are taking away your eyes from the economy of God. Yes. You are taking away your eyes from the presence of Nana Akufuado. You are taking yes. away your eyes from the politicians. You are looking unto the law. Our time is, is gone. Let, let's finish this. Let's finish this. Listen. The Bible says in the book of John chapter 5, he said that there was a lame man that was at the pool of Bethesda. And anytime they steer up the water, the pool, the man will be watching the circumstances. All the people that are fit, all the people that can run, all the people that have strength, he will be watching them, watching them, go into the pool and they get healed until Jesus arrived and Jesus said to this man 
look unto me. Yes. Look unto me. Yes. If this man had been looking unto Jesus and take away his eyes from the circumstances, he would have gotten healed before Jesus arrived. Can I tell you? I don't know which giant is in your office. Come on. I don't know which giant is in your working place. Come on. I don't know which giant is in your school. Come but on. Take off your eye from that giant yes. and begin to look at Jesus. Yes. Because David looked at God and he killed the giant. May you look at God and overcome every giant. Yes. Papa, I know that Bassad and Siwi are bringing a binana and soon what about Fusaman? I don't know what to acknowledge her, man, and I quay and yeah, no, no, so the Honor Nipana Cotum, Christ a band, or Catalan, you and not share me Christ, or her Christ and Queen Mizabel. She and found Queen as all look or do a wedding more, all look or do old school, and not all look or do a rabble. Says one not to Nanko Pondo, none share the Mina Maroko Benkum or Ben Bifana, Nanko Pond or Ben Sanchez. Number three, way of staying victorious. If you must stay victorious, you must never accept defeat. Did you hear that? Ne the Bible says a righteous man will fall seven times. Come on now. But he will bounce back again. Listen to me, never accept defeat because you can never be defeated if God is your backing. Yes. When the enemy try apostle general and try apostle general with coronavirus crisis and saw that royal house chapel was growing try apostle general with different attack and saw that royal house chapel was growing he get mad and that's why in 2024 he decided to go on the internet but we came to announce to him Jesus. that the same god of apostle general yes, that god. defeated him before yes, will same god. defeat him again yes, same god. yes. Upon some no say up a pressure or the coronavirus, now coupons you couldn't my papa, or you are then can kick and some baby now coupons you couldn't, or you enough is where do YouTube, where do Facebook, or on all kind of concerts war. Nin yet here, but out as there now coupon now what's in Quinim and bring a bring in our in Quinim man or better in Quinim. I may be what the devil didn't know is that he's touching a man that is anointed from God. Come on. He's touching a man that is elevated by God. Come on. Because all things work for good for those that love the Lord. Man. I want you to know that no demon will be able to defeat you. In the name of Jesus. God is your backing. I receive now people of god here is the testimony when the devil thought he's going on the internet to attack apostle general what he did not know is that he was making him more popular and he was making him a global icon. Come on. Was, ay, 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 ay. Come on. You didn't hear me. Yes. He God be for you. No what we got the sun. What we got the sun. What we got the steam. Three of them join. I get back in. Oh. I know they walk alone. Now listen. People that didn't know. Apostle General before internationally, they are now calling me and say, Who is that man? Come I on. say he's one of the fathers of God. Come on. Hey, hey, hey. I get to announce to somebody. Jesus. Get ready. Your elevation is coming. I am your ready. Your promotion is coming. I am ready. Your lifting is coming. I am ready. Have your hand and say, I receive it. I receive it. Ma hotel for no nimne de I bring I bring you all all quarter do all say within then I coupon them the miss inside the door page or I bring all quarter in time do all say up up and no one I want Russia what in is it one I want Ukraine what in is it one I want China what in is it we are some man men in a no what to open is it what in is it when we there oh yeah as I coupon them nipa what's that no go what them obey him somebody say I am undefeatable 
I am not defeated. Somebody say I am unstoppable. I am unstoppable. Somebody say I am rising higher. I am rising higher. Hallelujah. You can never be stopped. Because yes. the one that is on your side Come is on. more than those that is against you. Yes. Clap your hands and say, I receive it. I receive I it. Back in the I know they walk alone. I look right there, I say that. What to me do, do you know? Every day, more woman or such a more we are saying. Somebody say, I receive it. I receive it. Say, I receive the breakthrough. I receive the blessing. Say I receive the blessing. I receive the blessing. Say I receive the open door. I receive the open door. Hallelujah. Yeah, hallelujah. The last one. As we pray. If you must stay victorious. You must always march forward. And never look backwards forgetting those things which are behind and looking towards those things which are ahead come on the cross is in front of you yes the victory is in front of you yes the breakthrough is in front of you yes the blessing is in front of you yes the open door is in front of you yes look unto those things that are ahead come of on. you because the best days of your life is yet to come. Yes. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I prophesy to somebody. The Jesus. worst days of your life is behind you. Come on now. I receive it. 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 Do you know that when you allow yourself to stay defeated, marching forward is over. And that's what the enemy wants to do. He wants to stop you from looking forward. Jesus. He wants to blind your vision. Jesus. He wants to blind your spiritual eyes. Jesus. He wants to blind your spiritual ear. Jesus. But I came to announce to somebody. Come on. Today you are marching forward. I'm marching Today forward. Today you are going forward. I am moving your forward. Your business is going forward. Yes. Your marriage is going forward. Yes. Your anointing is going forward. Yes. Your ministry is going forward. In the name of Jesus. Everything you touch is going forward. In the name somebody of Jesus. say, I receive it. I receive it. Abibi abeshe nkuku nsam na obo ma nko wanim na bonsam ne sese ni ani de obo ma tete ya o won chenchen e yi wadwe fi de boko wanim na mo kan na hwaze de ase biara e zi wani oba to do de wanim nkunimzi oyawoza you can never cause a blessed person into mum fa no mum to obi a we hira no do you didn't hear what i said you didn't hear what i said when the king hired a fake prophet a spiritualist a demonic worshiper to come and curse the children of israel come on up. in the book of numbers yes. the bible says that god appear and god said how can you curse who god has blessed yes. i want you to know if you are a member of royal house chapel you are blessed. I am blessed. I am blessed. We are blessed. We are All blessed. the sons of Apostle General is blessed. We are blessed. All the daughters of Apostle General is blessed. We are blessed. If you are looking to know if the man is blessed, look at us. Come on up. Look at us. Come on up. We are his products. Yes. We are his seed. We are blessed. And if we are blessed, the man is blessed. We are blessed. See the way you love me. You carry my matter for your head, oh. Like a little baby, you watch over me. You don't carry me the blame. Come to your neighbor, say, I am going forward. I am going forward. Listen, if you did not, can you stop the music a bit? If you did not get anything from what I teach this morning, get one thing. 
your mindset has changed from today yes you are living where you are and you are marching forward i'm marching By forward the next time i come i will hear your testimony come on if up. you don't have a car you will have your car in the park in the name if of jesus if you don't have a house you will be dedicating your house in the if name you of don't jesus have a company you will have your own in the company. name of jesus if you are prote ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. if you are if you are a politician here listen carefully by next time i come you are occupying a gigantic office in the name of jesus blow your mind yes. somebody say i am moving forward i am moving forward as all that has seen the day there now coupons and that's a word it's a word here i want you to phone the bet you car i want you baby then the bet you can't put my in your fears out of them i think they are a kitchen now coupon by ammo one of our politicians were harmony i feel to say i'm son of apostle john seko but i have been then i'll go for work with grandma yes i'm not going to put those who could do those who could do i want you a single on a bar one i want you this can even this guy i want you probably been about i think they are a christian now come on by ammo listen to this prophecy as we close rise on your feet so john ardo listen to this prophecy as we close rise on your feet so john ardo Rise on. Have I blessed somebody this morning? Have I blessed somebody this morning? Yes. Listen to this prophecy as we close. Last year, April, I was preaching in this auditorium, and the Lord said to us that we have entered our season of financial revival. Last year. I Somebody feel say last year. Last, last year. I feel to me now, or I'm going to go back at a year. Where I feel oh, yes, because some all look or do you are female last year. Also, the Lord said to us that all your doom by now we are talking about two years. That all your doom in two years' time we will be having a ground dedication of all your doom. Clap for Jesus if you believe in that. Yes. Now, who also care, can't say, Oh, you do me in future more and feel the enemy be on tap. Now, who poor bear in such any now hear the new prophecy that the Lord gave to us. Yes, sir. Two prophecies, two prophecies, two prophecies. One, the Lord gave me this prophecy on the 31st of December. One of the prophecies, it was given to me on the 31st of December consigning Ghana. 31st December, you'll tell me, and come, sir, bear now, who poor in a case for my Ghana. And then the second prophecy is a prophecy I received on this altar now as I was preaching. So the first prophecy the Lord said to me and what I'm telling you is on our YouTube since 31st of December what I'm telling you now. The Lord said to me tell Ghanaians to pray very very hard in 2024 because 2024 election is going to be a very serious one and not only that is going to be a serious one but the lord said to me there is an outside influence an outside influence Jesus. that is about to interfere with the election of ghana in 2024 so we have to pray because if that happens, it will resort into fighting and killing. Jesus. Is it you, Zikani? Oh, the catch on my gun. I don't want you to want one bomb pay, pa. If there are fee or the way more twenty twenty four, I will wear me a last night. Babble to Uncle Fubi Fama and Amanda was one babble dream was one but dream near to a benevia, a corner, summer on yado, no little pay again. This prophecy was given to me on the 31st of December. It's on our YouTube since 31st of December. Miss Sidubio, the Mokom Shane says, I'm a Mako, 31st December, last year, 31st December. Now, coupons a man. To be forewarned is to be forearmed. If we don't start praying now, and you are waiting till September, October, that is when you now start fasting and praying. It's too late. Wala catch on no one more. I need the whole day. Shenye say I'm one pace. I need a train. I can't pursue my bus and I find a way. I need a come train and parabola on ye. God revealed these things to His prophet so that we can engage in spiritual war. 
Come so on that up. Ghana will not go the way of other African nations. Come on up. Now, coupon ye the mazi chenezi fu. Ne ye tuma bompe na ome Ghana and kere baby fu fu. Many African nations today they don't have democracy. They have democracy. Democracy. That's what they have in many African nations today because the power are being changed on the ground. Not by ballot, not by the vote, but by underground. The people know that they will be the president before they go into the voting. But that will not be the story of Ghana. Jesus. We are changing the atmosphere. In the name of in Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yes. No outside influence. In the name of Jesus. Yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody clap your hands. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say no outside influence. Oh, Say interfere. And profess. In Ghana election. In Ghana election. This December. This December. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We the church. We the church. We rise. We rise. Against outside influence. Against outside influence. In Ghana election. In in 2024, lift up your voice and pray that prayer. Lift up your voice. Pray that prayer. It is warfare. Pray that prayer. It is warfare. We are praying. We lift up an intercession on the behalf of our nation, our Lord and our God. As we engage the altar in warfare, we come against the workers of iniquity, the perpetrators of evil, against the ballot in the name of Jesus. Any man, any woman that has been assigned as an agent of darkness, as an agent of disaster, waiting to manifest the enterprise during the election in the name of Jesus. We decree it shall not manifest. It shall not Ghana happen. Will not go by down. fire by thunder. Ghana will not go Ghana down. Shall not Ghana will not go down. Ghana will not go Lift down. Lift up your voice. Lift up your Pray voice. Now. Pray, now. Pray now. Pray now. Pray now. Pray now. Pray now. God will fight. God will fight. For the nation of Ghana. God will the fight. Right leaders. Yes. The right leaders. Right leaders. We come to power. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. There shall be no outside influence. There shall be no outside In influence. The nation of Ghana. In the election of In Ghana. 2024. In 2024. In in Jesus in Jesus mighty name yes we have prayed then the last prophecy I want to share this morning is the one I receive here the Lord said I should tell Royal House Chapel in this coming election a lot of members of Royal House Chapel Jesus. are going to be in a position in the name of in Jesus. The government. In the name of Jesus. Let me tell you why. Shh. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. I had a vision as I was standing here now. And who appeared in my vision was Honorable Sherry Aite. Honorable Sherry Aite appeared in my vision as I was preaching. And I said, why are you appearing in my vision? And he said, tell Apostle General what he has done for the politicians in Ghana. Tell him that we are in heaven and we are interceding. And this year, yes. more politicians yes. are going to rise from Royal House Chapel in the and they're going to take their position we receive in the it. government we and receive they are it. going to higher places. We receive it. And then he said, tell Apostle General that there will be more people that will rise from Royal House Chapel Jesus. that will be greater than her. In the name of Jesus. And he's starting this year. In the name of Jesus. We receive it. In starting this year. Election. We receive it. Oh, listen, I don't know who you are. I don't know where you are. But if you are a politician here and you are a member of this church, can you run to this altar right now? If you are a friend of this church, run to this altar right now. We want to use you to pray as a point of contact. Come quickly, quickly, quickly. We don't have time. I'm going. Is it your today? Be an uncle, Paul. Other man, you do for me, 
Now go bobo pay or my obo pay a quiet man penny food penny food bear or pay or may my wolfy the more as a free move. Now go poor bear workers. I want what they may be a war politics and all your politics beyond Potron and two brewing him. Yes, you bet you want a bomb pay. I'm a big bear or was a free man. Opera your politician and other opera for political line beer as if you opera your more baby and a coupon. It's now do I am all this a man that speak to presidents speak to head of state i just two months ago came back from the nation of swaziland where i affected entire kingdom i affected entire kingdom in one week so i am not speaking from inexperience i am speaking from experience yes. if you are a politician here run quickly quickly or today, I'm Papa Apostle General. Of course, Swaziland, I'm going to you soon. I'm going to put on the day you may be a part. I'm not a politician. I'm not a candidate. Assemblyman, sorry, bro. Sorry, bro. If you are planning to contest for election, any kind of position from now to December, come quickly, 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 quickly. About two months, she said, "Be a pedestrian, who she ma? Put your car on, bro." We are using, listen, we are using this one here as a point of contact for other politicians that belongs to this kingdom, that belongs to this movement that are not here. Yes, one of the my is one of and them see for my one what can we now we need a sword in hand Now stretch out your hands towards them. Sir, sir. Begin to pray. As the word of God has said, presidents will rise from this house. Vice presidents will rise from this house. Oh, ministers will rise from this house. Parliamentarians will rise from this house. Begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray. To pray. From this house, we will see the highest office of the land rising from this house. Pray, 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 pray. Pray, 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 pray. Father, we use them as a point of contact. We use them as a point of contact. And my time is up. We pray in the name of Jesus, Jesus for these precious children of yours. Just like we have had an encounter with heaven this morning consigning the coming election in december lord your word is yes and amen whatever you say you will do we pray in the name of jesus that out of this altar of my father of our father as you have spoken let it come to pass may we see ministers of states rise in this nation rise from this altar may we see presidency rise from these altars and if the president is made may we see them worshiping with us here may we see vice presidents may we see parliamentarians may we see local governments leaders rise in this place in the mighty name of jesus amen now listen to me we are going to sow into this powerful message that the lord has blessed us with this morning and i want to encourage you you that are here make a commitment thousand and above thousand and above make a commitment connect with the altar and see what god will do for you and you that are in the congregation listen carefully if you are a business person come and sow because your business is going to the next level. Amen. Your business is going to the next level. Amen. Thousand and above. Let's show the seed. Go ahead. Lift up the worship. The altar is open. If you are running for office, you are looking for an appointment, promotion and elevation. The atmosphere has been created. The anointing has been activated. Engage the altar of your father. Anointing for kingship. Anointing for 
rulers anointing for ambassadorial position the altar is open engage take a seat take a sacrifice if you are standing in for somebody you are standing for the friend you are standing in for your husband for your wife for somebody who is not here take a sacrifice thousand kind of seeds, 700 kind of seeds, 500, 300, 200, so the seeds. Because I'm not standing for any uh, member of parliament for any constituency, this one is not part. You may be sitting here somewhere minding your own business and you will get a call that you have become ambassador to Canada, ambassador to Australia, ambassador to Qatar. Come on, who am I prophesying to? May the Lord cause you to partake in this open heavens. May you be a portion of this prophecy. Receive this anointing. Receive this anointing. So they say, I receive it. I receive it. It's too, baby. Let go. It's better than president. I'm not going to be now. I'm from from also to China, to Canada, to US. Lord, what to be? Ain't it the main brina? I tell you, yeah, for who should be? There are several positions that are appointed rather than elected. Appointed rather than elected. The be a baby, oh, mono ma. What friend? I'll tell you one year, ma. Remember, you may be sitting here somewhere. You are thinking about Grand Pacific. And they'll come and say, Charlie, we are looking for a certain ambassador to Ukraine. Oh, Jesus. we want to go and solve the, the crisis in you. Jesus. You, you have no idea. DC is appointed. MMDC is appointed. They are not elected. So don't think that because I'm not actively running for election, this prophecy is not my portion. I declare may favor find you. Jesus. May the anointing of this house find you. I receive it. May the prophecy locate you in your corner. I receive it. Rise up and say, I receive it. I receive it. So, the, the anointing for victory has been created in the atmosphere. He also said that this is for business people business people so again you are not running for any election at your office but there is a certain seat that you have been eyeing to climb into that seat and you think that is far from you 
but the prophecy has gone ahead of you Jesus. in this year 2024 Jesus. may favor locate you I receive favor. may you be picked from the back and placed I, at I pray in the name of Jesus yes any Adonijah that will fight over your seat Jesus. may the Lord remove them and it. place you over there who is receiving this prophecy oh. if ever you I will run and sow a seed oh. into this anointing so they say, I receive it. I receive it. Victory. Victory belongs to him. Oh. 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 to stay in victory think victoriously take your eyes off the circumstances never accept defeat forget the past and march forward Shall we acknowledge God for this word that has come this morning Timely, oh. timely word to start of the month. Come on, you are not doing well at all. Oh. If this word was for you, you want to sow a seed into this word, the prophecy, you want to plug in. The man of God said, for those who came forward, thousand and above. Anybody else, you want to sow a seed into this online viewers, you are not left out. You are part of the service, you are part of the church. You want to wave your hand and an usher will serve you with an envelope. If you have your tithe as well and is ready, please come forward and join those who are giving and planting their seed into this prophecy. If your first fruit is also ready, ask for the red envelope from the ushers and they will be glad to give you a red envelope for your first fruit. Any other thanksgiving offering, any other pledge that you have, please join us at the altar and let's publicly show to the world that God indeed is our banner and we are willing and ready to sow and say thank you to God with our sacrifices please come forward with your tithe your pledge your special offering today is your wedding anniversary you have a special Thanksgiving you can join them today is your birthday you want to join them um, you got a job this week you have a thanksgiving offering please join them and you are sowing into this prophecy please join them baby be able to tell you I don't read you baby be able to tell you your power line TV baby I will be at connection and so set a political office now on any air bomb payer was the a thousand city if I hear you know the bone thousand are looking in him if I hear screen of that another detail here or your mobile money number no is zero five four three no one nine one nine one nine a yard as I can with a political office another in a coupon board political office internally yes so with them hard never they so tight and as I'm put your honor so brewing him and I say any of scabina I do your first fruit are on also it to me the bar empty or ho a border for cash or hormone baby biara or hormone my issue and a baby a book or do you pay pay if you are the altar speak over that sacrifice we are waiting for those who are coming if you are given online or through your mobile apps just come for the prayer when you go back to the seat you can finish the transaction Reverend Joseph Kusubo is praying over the sacrifices the prophecy is God is raising more politicians more members of parliament more ambassadors more high commissioners at least i can count two ambassadors that we had in the last four years uh, members of parliament the lord says he's giving us more my god my god plug into this anointing plug into this prophecy speak over that sacrifice that lord may i be counted among those you are selecting when the selection process is taking place do not pass me by do not pass me by powerful word lift up your sacrifices every eye closed the church is in prayer father oh god 
because your people they have their faith and their belief and trust in you because they believe and trust in your word one more time they have gathered in your presence we pray oh god that according to the word of prophecy that you have released concerning us in this season in these times oh god raise mighty men among your people raise great and wealthy people among them oh god raise politicians people of authority people of substance amongst us oh god let them always remember that they are fighting from a position of victory a superior position of power and authority in the work of death and resurrection of christ you have said in your word that they are not their god they shall do great things and they shall achieve great exploits this one they know you this ones they believe in you therefore father oh god cause them to do great things cause them to achieve great exploits may your name be magnified and glorified in their lives let this altar of covenant bring blessings bring open heavens bring favor bring increase into their lives cause their ground to be fruitful cause their seeds to prosper yes lord cause their vine to yield of its increase in the name of jesus christ we thank you that in our own eyes we shall see the establishment of your word even in our lives we bless you god we give you glory in jesus name in jesus name amen amen please sow your seed on this on the altar may the word of the lord manifest in your life this week may you experience open heavens may the lord rebuke and devour for your sake in the name of jesus God bless you, God bless you. We want to celebrate the latest couple in town, Mr. and Mrs. Thomas Owusu Ampafo, who got married yesterday at Royal House Chapel Ahinfie. Come on, let's appreciate them. Fresh out of the oven. You can see the way Mr. Thomas is smiling. There was a performance last night. Come on now. You are welcome, you are welcome, you are welcome. We bless you in the name of Jesus. We pray that may you enjoy the wine that you enjoyed last night till eternity. May you never run out of happiness. May the Lord continually be in the center of this union. You will do well. You will succeed. In Jesus' name. Amen. When the Apostle General comes uh, from his trip, he will be handing over your marriage certificate and be giving you uh, the Father's blessing when he returns god bless you if you have a sacrifice you can place it at the altar congratulations the weddings continue in the month joseph okai from voices in worship and hilda mensa from saint francis of assisi are getting married on the 13th of april coming saturday is that coming saturday coming saturday at 1 p.m i fear joseph okai and hilda mensa if they are in the service we would like them to come to the front and then on the 20th of april is happening between cow quist from riches of glory adenta and pastor fedrias nyamalo week of the altar speaker 2g member of the media team presenter on powerline tv 1 p.m. at Ahivie, 20th of April. Please stretch for your hands over them. We pray for a release of grace and favor that as they go into the 13th and the 20th of April, may they go with the leading of the Holy Spirit. 
we ask for every storm to be calm we ask that day will be joyous and full of celebration we ask that lord raise men that will show them unusual kindness in jesus mighty name amen god bless you god bless you god bless you we have some landmark celebrations reverend samson edufu the senior interpreter of royal house chapel is 60 years old see the way you love me see the way you can oh come on come on come on let's celebrate reverend samson We celebrate it. I've got joy overflow. Only in a dream is a 60 years old, six decades. Because of Jesus. Because of Jesus. I've got joy overflow. I've got joy overflow. Only in a dream is a 60 years old, six decades. Because of Jesus. Because of Jesus. I've got joy overflow. I've got joy overflow. I've got joy overflow. I've got joy overflow. Only in a dream is a 60 years old, six decades. It's like a river in my soul. Ah. Because of Jesus. Because of Jesus. I've got joy overflow. I've got joy overflow. I've got joy overflow. Sylvia Mensa is also 40 years old. Come on, let's acknowledge Sylvia Mensa. Mrs. Daniel Maslino are also 10 years in marriage. Hey. Oh, come on, shall we acknowledge her? I've told your best man and maid of honor from 10 years ago that they have to join you. We would like to invite Dr. Anas. Is she still here? Oh, Dr. Anas. Oh, you are in somebody's constituency. Hey, Charlie. Everybody has their own constituency. Doc, please join me. These are very committed members of Royal House Chapel. Sylvia, how long have you been in Royal House? 28 years. Reverend Samson, 18 years. How long have you been interpreting for Apostle General? 17 years remember how long 24 years my god my god come on shall we acknowledge these sons and daughters of the apostle general stretch for your hands 60 years 40 years 10 years in marriage dr nas is releasing a blessing father in the mighty name of jesus upon the altar of our father and our mother come on we project the daughters and the sons of the kingdom before your throne of grace. Yes, Lord. That at their celebrations, 60 years old, 40 years old, 10 years in marriage, mm. may the heavens be opened upon them. May their latter years be more glorious than their former. Yes, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, today we proclaim you victors. You are in the position of advantage. You stand on the altar of your father. Yes, Lord. And we are saying that may the years ahead of you, mm. may you be victorious in every area of your life. In the name of Jesus. May you be victorious in every endeavor of your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, we proclaim that in this year, may you love the laughter of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. May people see you and honor the glory of God upon your life. Yes, Lord. May the altar of our Father continue to speak favor. 
May the altar of our God continue to speak restoration. Yes, Lord. May the altar of God continue to speak a shift in your favor in the mighty name of Jesus. You are blessed and you are highly favored. Yes, Lord. As you live and you go to your respective, I mean, celebration grounds, yes, may God honor you in the name of God the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit have we prayed with thanksgiving in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Happy Amen. birthday. Happy Reverend birthday and happy Samson. anniversary. Happy anniversary and happy 40th birthday. God richly God bless, bless you. you. God bless you. Reverend Samson, let me tell you this story. I met a gentleman one day who had visited Royal House and he found out I was the son of the Apostle Jonah. So he was telling me, oh, one day I came to your church. So I asked him, oh, so how did you find the service? I thought you mentioned the worship or the word that was preached that day or you would talk about the atmosphere. He said what he enjoyed the most in the service was the interpreter. I said, hey, the whole service, what you enjoy was it? I said, so who interpreted? Oh, that man, that man, um, they call it uh, something. I said, well, yes, Reverend Sam, say yes, that's what he enjoyed the whole service. So I want you to know that even though you are not the one preaching, you are blessing many, many lives across the world. And today we honor you and we celebrate you. God bless you. God bless you. Oh, come on. some different constituency are doing their own church over there. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. In front of one free. Thank you, Asavia. Thank you, Asavia. I thought the traditional deba was over, but I just received an announcement that the Fantis are meeting again. I don't, I don't know what meet. Hey. Please, Fantis, you are meeting your leader after service. I also heard that the airways are also meeting at Judah Temple. I think the food from Monday didn't finish. So if you are here, you don't have lunch, find out where the Fantis are meeting, find out where the airways are meeting, go and join them. The food from Monday was not... Hey, royal ladies. This week, all group meetings are ongoing. April, we have entered into your month. You are fasting and praying every day every weekday at 5 30 p.m at the glory shed april bonds please be re reminded Abba of champions is having its monthly um all night midnight cry this friday at 10 p.m at the ahimfi auditorium Abba of champions led by reverend stephen MacArthur. midnight cry this friday royal ladies your by monthly meeting is happening this week saturday on the 13th of april 3 p.m at the ahimfi auditorium foundation school after church you are at your base you are at your base if you are worshiping with us for the first time and you have been blessed by the service you want the apostle general to father you we would like you to meet with you immediately after the service please don't be in a hurry to go right here on my right there will be some pastors here to interact with you if you are worshiping with us and this week is your birthday you are celebrating your birthday this week please um, come to my left and there will be pastors here to pray for you god bless you this is royal house chapel the last item and then we are out of this place memorial and thanksgiving service Mrs. Ruth Ribeiro Boating has been called home and the home call is being celebrated this Saturday, 13th April at 8 a.m. at the Presby Church, Latabi Okoshi. She was the wife of Mr. Joseph Boating, the former teacher of the Apostle General. Uh, Mr. Boating, if you are here, kindly come forward. We'll pray for you. Also, Madam Cecilia Blanksin has been called home. We will be sending her off also on Saturday, 13th of April at the St. Peter and Paul Anglican Church in Salt Pond. She was the late, she is the mother of Pastor Trini Collings Obing. Or is it Collings, the interpreter? Yeah. The late, the, she is the mother of Collings Obing. 
the late Cecilia Blankson. Mighty man, Amoberis, this is your funeral. Please represent us at Salt Pond. And then we are celebrating the memorial and thanksgiving of Madame Victoria Ashigui and Frederick Annan or Annane Crosby Atipo. Their families, please come forward as we celebrate the lives of these two individuals. Reverend Agri will be leading us through the, the memorial service. When peace like Mr. Joseph Boati, we all know him to be the old teacher, uh, our bishop's uh, teacher. Somebody that Rev loves so much and is always taking care of him. He is the one who has lost the wife, 90 something year old man. He will need the entire church to stand with him, stand with the children, grandchildren, great grandchildren in this uh, period of mourning. And those of us who can extend some, you know, help, financial help at his age, he will need all of us to stand with him and support him. Say amen. And our interpreter, our prayers are with you. Stretch forth your hand. Father, we lift these bereaved members before you. We ask for your strength and grace. May you provide for them in a way and in a manner that they can give befitting burial to their uh, departed ones. We ask for protection now and forevermore. Amen. Church, amen. Mr. Watting, our prayers are with you. May God grant you strength to bury your wife. Church, shall we be on our feet to honor our departed? If you are seated and you believe in honoring the dead, please be on your feet. We are dedicating this very moment in honor of memorial and thanksgiving, Madam v v Veronica Ashigbe. Ashigbe, born on the 10th of October 1963, called into glory. 2nd January 2024 was laid, laid to rest 3rd, 23rd March at Awud Aunoga Agove the family members are here to give God thanks then also we have the family of Frederick Anani Crosby Atiku born on the 8th of February 1958 called into glory 1st March 2024 laid to rest Friday 5th April at Osu Cemetery the family members are also here wherever you are join us as we when peace like a
is well. It is well. Our God is in control. The sovereign God is on his throne. Nothing can take us from the love of God. We shout again. It is well. It is well. you are let's observe a minute of silence and in your hearts I want you to pray for the family members standing here ask the good Lord to continue to strengthen them and fill the vacuum that the departed one has created that the blessing of the Lord will continue to abound in this these families Amen. I will mention their names three times. Each mention you respond, glory to God, glory be to God the Father, the second time, Son, and then the Holy Spirit. May the souls of Madame Veronica Ashigui and Frederick Anane Chris be Atipo, Atipo rest in perfect peace. May the souls of Veronica Ashibui and Frederick Anane Crispy Atiko rest in perfect peace. May the souls of Madame Veronica Ashibui and Frederick Anane Crosby Atiko rest in perfect peace. King of kings and the Lord of lords, we rejoice again and again and again because you are the supreme God. We rejoice in your promise of joy, love, peace, protection. We rejoice because you said you will never leave us nor forsake us. This very moment we know our loved ones are in safe place where there is no mourning, pain, sorrow, no sickness. So therefore, we give you all the glory. We raise one voice as a church, and we commit the surviving families before you. We ask, O oh Jehovah, that your spirit will continue to put them together. Grant them the love and the unity that must be seen as children of God in their lives. Let your mighty hand rest upon them. Let them know every passing day that indeed you are with them. And after all, the departure of their loved one is not a hopeless situation. You still are with them. You are still with them. Put them together by your mighty hand. Let the unity be strengthened. Let love grow. Any vacuum that has been created by the departure of the loved ones, Spirit divine, fill that vacuum with somebody dear to your heart. Bless them. Even in these days of mourning, surprise them with miracles. Let them put on record that it was during the time of the funeral of our loved one that Jehovah ministered to me with this miracle. Give them this story in the name of Jesus. 
Father, we bless them in your name. We ask heaven to continue with them. The joy of the Lord and the peace of the Lord to abide with them now and forevermore. Amen. Church, let's agree and say amen. God richly bless you. We are standing with you, family members. The God that you have trusted and believed in is still in control. So be assured that his presence will always continue with you. We thank God for your lives. If you have anything to thank God with, you may put it in the offering tray. Alright, so this from protocol. Protocol, Yvonne, who is a member of a protocol uh, ministry. This is love uh, seed from protocol to let you know that they are with you. God richly bless you. You may take your seats. Oh, it is well. As we prepare to close, we are waiting for those who are seated. When it comes to certain things in the church, we ought to understand that we believe in unity, one spirit, one faith. So when we say, let's stand, let's stand together. When we say, let's sit, let's sit together. Amen. Ask your neighbor, what are you living here with this morning? What are you living here with? What are you carrying home? Which part of the sermon blessed your heart so much? Please tell your neighbor, which part of the sermon blessed you so much? So what are you going to do with this blessing? Go to another neighbor. I think that the first neighbor didn't respond well. Go to the next neighbor. Have you been blessed for coming to church? What has blessed you? What has blessed you? You tell me. So what testimony are you going to share to those outside? What testimony are you going to share? That you didn't receive anything? That there hasn't been any blessing upon your life? Joyfully say, the Lord has touched my life. I am never the same again. The way I walked in, I am not returning the same way. Something new has fallen upon me from on high. What I am going home with will keep me throughout the year. Until we meet here, 31st December, we will share our testimonies together. Amen. Let's share the grace together. Surely, the days of my life dwell in the house of the Lord. Forever. Say hello to somebody, love somebody. Now, there are books. Director of Administration, uh, Administration's book books are available at the information desk please grab one make sure you buy one and buy one for a friend it will be a blessing to somebody you love so much god bless you we will see you here throughout the week and then on sunday we will gather again god bless you baptism candidates please come to the altar now for the last supper all baptism candidates those who were baptized last Friday night, please, all of you, rush to the altar right now. First timers, we want to share a short time of fellowship with you, right in front here on my right hand side. Birthday celebrants, please come to Reverend Adam right now on my left hand side. Baptismal candidate, please climb up. 
all those who were baptized last Friday. Please climb up, come up, come up.